acting can be like yeah. therapy. Like every time I start a new project, I'm like, ah, you know, am I gonna get caught out now? <laughs> I don't want to be mean, but I've also met people who believe they're good actors, but from my eyes, they aren't. Many of us actors feel uh, that this is wrong. Hey everyone, I'm Malini and this is the very first episode of Miss Malini's Actor Circle featuring Amul Parashar. Thanks Yay. for being here today. I'm glad I'm here. First, let's start off and we would love to hear about your story from engineer to actor. Kese hua? Went to engineering because that's what we do in India. Right? We become engineers or doctors. Our parents try for us to become engineers and doctors. Huge. Their dream come true. I don't know if it's my dream come true. I started doing theatre in college, which is also just by a stroke of luck. It was not like I grew up a lot of people grow up with the idea of wanting to be an actor or a performer. Yeah. I was a shy boy as, as a child. You uh, still kind of are. I think I am. Yeah. I think I have preserved that uh, person in me. Mm. Uh, so this also, the, all this also kind of becomes like a performance. Yeah. Uh, you know, so I, the shy boy still exists, but on stage you suddenly transform into a different person. And you learn to, I, what I experienced emotionally was to express myself for the first time yeah. through other people. Like through other people's emotions, I could cry as my character, you know, and express a certain that. emotion that I wouldn't in real life. It is kind of like therapy. I, I think acting can be like yeah. therapy, and that is what it was at that time. I got really hooked to it. I thought I was good at it. Suddenly, I would get like awards and all in college. But what does a best actor in IIT award mean? I don't know. I didn't know <laughs> till I stepped out in the real world. Yeah. How do you know that you're an actor? For sure, to yourself. How do I know that I can act? I think I can act, but how do I know I'm like professional actor material? Very, very uh, deep question. <laughs> you never know, I think. I think you never really know for sure. Mm. You know, there's always, uh, like every time I start a new project, I'm like, ah, you know, am I going to get caught out now? <laughs> Is this the time when they all catch my bluff? Yeah. Because uh, acting will happen in that moment when I reach on set, mm. I wear my makeup, my clothes, and somebody says, action. I don't know right now whether I will be able to do it in that moment. I can prepare myself, I can hype myself, I can mm. have all my, I can rehearse, I can uh, you know, do workshops, stretching, whatever, whatever it takes. But right now, there is always this voice that what if in that moment, I can't. I can't do it. But that's probably true for any, for any, any kind of, yeah. especially I guess, mm. live performance, uh, things because yeah. you know it is only when you get on stage is mm. is the real test whatever you yeah. do off stage is nobody yeah. asks nobody wants to see so that i think uh, there's always this self doubt to voice whether you are good enough yeah. uh, whether you are good at all uh, are you just like has all of this just been good luck so far yeah. that you didn't get caught out so all those voices are there uh, but it's very difficult to know like i I don't want to be mean, but I've also met people who believe they're good actors, but from my eyes, they aren't. Right. You know, they uh, can be better. Love to know life. more about that. For you, what was the whole audition process like? How many hours do you spend in queue? <laughs> How do you, do you wait by the phone? Are you going to get that call? Like, what was I, that uh, whole experience? Yeah, I, I, it just feels like a different life right now, because at that time, this was the life. This was, it was waking up in the morning, trying to find out what's happening, where it's happening, you know, yeah. where, can, where can I go? And then whatever information you get, you just like wear the right clothes. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you're sourcing clothes, I don't have a white shirt, can somebody give me a white shirt? <laughs> so you're wearing, just sharing shirts, you're sharing shoes, you're going to the same auditions. Sometimes you're waiting for three hours and then mm. it doesn't even happen. Yeah. You know, it's like end of day, go back home. So, and there's all kinds, there are rude people, there are people who are nice to you, there are people who are polite, there are people who are impolite. So, it's, it, it is a tough mm. process, like you really have to harden yourself for that kind of rejection on a daily basis where you hear no, like at least five times in a day, in subtle ways, like nobody's saying no, but it's no, right? <laughs> it's not a yes, it's a no for you. And actors, being an actor is, uh, I think, also difficult because we, what we have is our body and mind and you know, our person mm. and when somebody rejects your acting, it feels like 
you have been rejected as a person you know your looks have been rejected your height has been rejected yeah. your personality has been rejected you're not funny enough you're not tall enough you're not fair enough you yeah. whatever it is so it is, but uh, i'm glad i did that mm. because it it hardened me uh, like it probably said, makes you value it more too it, uh, yeah and it probably makes you you know on a daily basis realize that my value is not defined by these auditions necessarily it is a mm. part of my job it is it is what i do it is something i do for work but you know i have to find my worth elsewhere and not just uh, in those auditions mm. uh, so i think that's something it trains you for it trains you for rejection further in life because even when right now people think oh abhi to you know aapka ho gaya hai okay. now you're a star now what do you what do you have to worry about but you never stop worrying <laughs> you know then you worry about the next film or the bigger film and the bigger part and the smaller part and you still feel rejected sometimes mm-hmm. you know you just feel like oh i wanted that film but they took somebody else there is rejection in that i see uh, a lot of people i mean not their fault but when they get it too easy or too fast or they haven't gone through that process of rejections and auditions it becomes difficult to suddenly become a successful actor or a wo- right. actor with work and then, 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 then with... deal with these mm. things because this is a daily this happens on a daily basis yeah. you go to a party somebody speaks to you nicely somebody doesn't speak to you nicely you feel rejected yeah. you know feel like oh am i not important enough, enough am i not yeah. big enough am i you know these questions i've been to enough of those parties where someone's talking to you but they're looking to see is there someone yeah, more I mean, important they're talking to you but they're not talking to you <laughs> yeah. they are looking at other people and and the bigger the party the bigger this phenomenon yes. you know and, and more the people at the party everybody's just looking at who is calm and who's there yeah. i've had people come to my party yeah. you know that party that yeah. i invited yeah, yeah, before yeah, for yeah. the film Social, party yeah. i had a person come in he came he just wrecked the party <laughs> he didn't even look just, at me or anyone like you know we were the hosts of that party he just came in he entered said kon hai kon hai kon hai kon hai kon hai and he left i was like amazed uh, at that kind of life just like choosing to yeah. live like that evoke emotions and how can you, to can express it can you cry it. on demand uh, i can uh, i'm not going to make I'm it not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course i need the space and mood and yeah. everything but uh, you know some of us take pride in ki mai glycerin use nahi karta hu i use my own tears uh, i have been that actor and i have cried a lot on stage yeah. and and that can be even more moving for the audience because yeah. it's like right here somebody is uh, crying mm. right right here in front mm. of you of course you don't overdo it because then it, people also disconnect so there's also the right amount of emotion you just mm. have to like it's like masala it's but how like, do you do deal with the reverse where like you said sometimes people are mean or rude but now they're damn nice now then i'm so yeah <laughs> <laughs> so you i think you you learn not to take it personally i mm. think this is what i was trying these are, these are the words i was looking for when i was talking about auditions also you you learned to not take things personally Person, of yeah. course we are human beings of course there are days when your mind and heart does take things personally but you just remind yourself that this is not about you you know that person has not rejected you because they reject you or they hate you or whatever it's their job is their is their job to only select one person you could complain about ki their reasons are wrong for selecting somebody else maybe it was not for acting mm. you know it was not the craft that they chose somebody else for so you could you know, complain about that but it's still based on something like they yeah. their choice they have to yeah, and, their yeah. choice nowadays i've met so many um i call them aspiring actors not struggling actors mm. who say now when i go for an audition they ask me how many social media followers i have do you come across that at all is that a thing now uh, that you have to have a big social media following to you know to be honest i can't say no Yeah. Because we all know that uh, this helps. has become an important metric. How important it is can differ from project to project, from thing to thing. I didn't know that they're asking uh, straight yeah. away in auditions. Maybe they are because when I was auditioning, uh, there was no Instagram social. wasn't yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, they were not asking you how many friends you had on Facebook, <laughs> thankfully. But they were asking other things like what you've done and mm. whatever they thought was important. So if they think it is important to them, then that's why they must be asking. uh i know that most many of us actors feel uh, that this is wrong you know yeah. this, this shouldn't be happening why how can an actor be chosen Based on their on. Uh, social media following but actors forever have been chosen for many things many reasons <laughs> apart from acting so this is just another new thing i think and we have to accept that this is how it is